You've been talking to Philadelphia's health commissioner almost weekly since he announced the first closures back in March. So what should we expect Monday? So I just talked to a, a source who's part of this process, and the details at this point, they're still being worked out. So as of now, there's not a final list of exactly what changes we should expect on Monday. But Dr. Farley, he's been really consistent from the start about which events would trigger restrictions and the rapid rise of new infections that we are dealing with right now, that is one of those triggers. Of course, you'll remember Philadelphia has not followed state guidelines for indoor restaurant capacity. Instead, the city's been more cautious. And when uh, indoor dining capacity went from zero to 25% to then 50%, officials, they were just ramping up contact tracing back then. And in the past week, Dr. Farley's told us that new infections were being tracked back to some city restaurants. Now, back in June, when the health department uh, allowed gyms to reopen, Dr. Farley told me that as long as cases don't spike, that the gyms would stay open. We will still have to wait to Monday to find out if gyms will be shut down again. What we do know is that the number of tests coming back positive, that those are increasing right now. More than 9% of Philly's COVID tests are coming back positive. That is the highest positivity rate in Philly since the start of this pandemic. Of course, that leads to exponential growth. And Dr. Farley, he's always been clear that any restrictions, they're aimed at saving lives and managing hospital capacity. He is certainly hopeful. He's expressed his hopefulness about a vaccine that is around the corner. But I think what we can expect to see are at least some of the restrictions from April and May coming back in November and December.